Thelma, are you here? Because it just said you were removed from the meeting. I don't know why, but it said that you would be removed from the meeting if I started recording it. We'll see when she comes back. Okay, so this is M18 slope intercept form, which is called Y equals MX plus B. Okay, I did. Excuse me, identify the slope and the Y intercept. Okay, so example number one, you have the Y, you have the equals. Okay, you have the Y, you have the equals. Now, um, you're not gonna have the letter M. What you're gonna have is you're gonna have a number. Okay, so it's gonna be Y equals and there's gonna be a number right here. Okay, sorry, I just hit my hand on the bottom. Um, so you're gonna have something like 2X. So the X is in the original. The Y is in the original. The equals is in the original. Okay, so you're gonna have the Y, the equals, and the X. And then you're gonna have a number it's sitting where the M is. And then you're gonna also have a number over here. So let's say plus three. Thelma, can you hear okay? Cause I know um, when I went to turn on the recording, it kicked you out. It said it was gonna kick you out. And then it said, if you come back, then it would be fine. But are you able to hear okay and see? Okay, so it looks like this. So what you're gonna write is you're gonna write y equals mx plus b underneath it because we need um, y equals mx plus b to get in your brain. Y equals mx plus b was actually on one of the cookies that I brought you. Uh, y equals mx plus b is one of the most popular formulas in math. It's one of the most useful formulas. It's for lines, okay? So uh, these are lines. So uh, let's write that at the top in the title, put lines. Okay, so these are lines. Okay, so um, in use your highlighter. So you see the Y, you see the M. Okay, so what you're gonna do is um, M stands for slope. So you're gonna write slope and then a little colon. And then you're gonna write M equals, and then you're gonna tell me what number the M is. So what number is sitting where the M is usually is sitting? So what number is in the M's location? What do you think? This M, who's right there in, the, in our equation? Yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. So M is two. And then slope needs to be a fraction. So if it's equal to two, you put two over one. And this is because the M needs to be a fraction. Okay, and we'll talk about Y in our next lesson. Okay, so M needs to be a fraction. Okay, the Y intercept. Now, if you remember what we said in the Y intercept, so draw a little bubble to the left. You don't have to draw that in your homework, but you do have to draw it in the notes is uh, what did we say yesterday for y-intercept? What did you write what, right under y-intercept when you were writing your chart? Remember when you were writing your chart yesterday, you put x-intercept and then you put y-intercept? What did you put under y-intercept? Does anybody remember what went right here? Yes, x equals zero. So let's write that, x equals zero. So when you write the y-intercept, you're gonna put a zero for the x-coordinate. And this is always, so let's put always. You're gonna always put a zero right there. And then the y-intercept, most people memorize this instead of substitute. So instead of having to substitute, they memorize that this b here is the y-intercept, okay? So, you're gonna write zero three for the y-intercept. So this number came from right here. Okay. 
And then um, one of you were asking for your questions. Um, is it normal to take notes every day in math class? And I would say, yes, you are likely to take notes every day in your math class. Um, whether it's uh, all five days a week, if we go back to school that way, or if it's twice a week, uh, you will be taking notes every day in, in high school math. It's very rare not to take notes because this is how you learn the material. Um, I have a quick question for those of you who had missed Ella Zaldi. Do you think that you did Y equals MX plus B during distance learning or during the regular school year? Okay. And then the two of you who said you had Mr. Pinto, uh, you, the, you, both of you said actually that you didn't learn it. So uh, that would be during either part of the week. Okay, so, um, so let's do another one. So let's show you another example. So y equals a half x minus four. Okay, so the work you're gonna show for me is you're gonna write the formula underneath. Okay, so you're gonna write the formula so this step is just called right formula. Okay. So you're going to write the formula. And then you're going to write slope with a colon. M equals, M is the slope. So we have to get in our brain that M is the letter in math for slope. And it's strange. Like, why would M be slope? I think it has to do with Spanish and French. Um, M montar means uh, like uh to like ascend like to walk up a hill mantha so i think that's what the m stands for it's probably from latin okay but it's not s yeah. and actually in england they don't call it slope they call it gradient they call it another letter but that's not a g either anyway so you have to remember that slope is uh, is m so you're gonna write that and then um you don't have to highlight if you don't want but it may help train your brain to see the parts that are the same. And then the parts that are, see where it says M, that one half is sitting in the M position. So this one half, I'll circle it in blue highlighter so you can see it. But the M equals a half. And then the B actually is negative four. Okay, so for the Y intercept, you're going to write Y intercept just like this. And then you're going to put zero comma and then you're gonna put negative four. So this comes from that. And this is always a zero for uh, y-intercepts. And then this is your answer, because this is all we're doing is we're identifying the slope and the y-intercept. That's all we're doing this first half an hour, okay? So um, I'm gonna give you another one. I'm gonna give you two more, and then I'm gonna give you the homework problems for this. Okay, so y equals x minus six. So you're going to write y equals mx plus b. And we're trying to identify the slope in the y-intercept. Um, you can highlight if you want, if that helps you. M, M. Hmm. But M is this number in the front of x. What's in the front of x? Yes, a one is in the front of X. A one is in the front of X. Okay, so then you're gonna write slope, colon, M equals one, but you have to make it a fraction. M has to be a fraction. So um, if you have a number, what can you put at the bottom? You can put a blank uh, under any number. What can you put under any number? Exactly. So we're going to put a one under. Maybe we should put that in red. You know, like the number you put in the front? And then uh, we have to write what the y-intercept is. So you can write y-i-n-t. And then uh, you always put a zero here for the X, because X equals zero. 
and then the B would be zero comma what number? Can you guys see what number the B is? The B is the y-intercept, but we just write it as a coordinate. Uh-huh, zero, negative six. Yep. So this right here is your answer. Okay, so we're going to do one more, and then I'm going to have you do some yourself. So when you look at this one, you see the X, you see the Y, you see the equals. So somebody different from Franz and Paul, tell me what you think the M would be. Oh, we have to put slope. So slope is M equals. So what do you think? What's in front of the X? Hey, Brandon, I know you're going in and out. So uh, maybe uh, at like at 930, uh, I'll be able to post this video, maybe 15 minutes after we're done. And then you'll be able to uh, watch it during the next lesson. Because I know the going in and out of this Google Meet is probably making you crazy. Okay. Um, so besides Paul and France, can anybody tell me what is in the M position in the equation above? So in example four, what would be in front of the X that I can identify as M? Mm -hmm. I agree, Carissa. So M is one. And then I have to make it a fraction. So you can take your number and then you put a one underneath to make it a fraction. Yeah. And then the Y intercept. Okay, so let's write y-intercept, and you can abbreviate it, y-i-n-t, and the y-intercept should be a coordinate, and then what's the x value of the coordinate? What's the x value of the coordinate? Can anyone tell me what the x value of the coordinate is? I agree. Okay, now the y value of the coordinate is weird because right here is where it's missing. So we have to decide what you can add that doesn't make a difference. So let's investigate over here to the side. So let's write investigate. So I have y equals x. So I know that's y equals 1x. But is it 1x plus 1? Or is it y equals 1x plus 0? Okay, so write both of these things down. And see what you think. Do you kind of feel like x plus 0 is x? Or do you feel like x plus 1 is x? What do you think? Do you feel like we should add a 0 there or a 1? Let's do, let's try it with a number. What if it was seven? Is seven plus zero seven or is seven plus one seven? It's kind of an odd question. It's a question that a lot of people miss when we're doing it in, in school too. They just don't know what to add to the end. We're so used to putting the ones in. We put a one in the exponent. We put a one in the denominator. We put a one in the front. But which of these two things is true? The 7 plus 0 equals 7 or 7 plus 1 equals 7, right? It is. It's 7 plus 0, but it's very odd. We're used to throwing 1s in.
But you know what it is? It's seven times one that would be X. X times zero is not X, it's zero. So this is the one that we want. So this is the one that we want. It's quite tricky. That's why we spent some time thinking about it. So this is a zero. Now in your homework, you're going to be able to look at the original problem. So I think we should write it over here. Y equals X is the original problem. Okay, so that if you see that again, because we added. Okay, and then this red number goes down here. So the answer is zero, zero. So that one's a tricky one. That was a very tricky one. Okay, so uh, we have 12 minutes to do the homework. So let me figure out what homework number we're on. Um, and you guys only have a couple days, left, so you need to you need to stay on top of it. Okay, so you got to stay on top of this. Some of you are not completing your homeworks. Okay, and I know that that's one of the problems that you had during the school year, too, is not completing homework. So you've got to take care of business and you've got to complete the homework. Um, I don't know, Paul. We'll have to see that. Uh, Paul, on Google Classroom, are you able to do it? How have you been doing it? How have you been uploading your homeworks before? So Paul, I'll help you just as soon as I write these questions out, okay? Let me write these questions out and then, um, then let me talk to you. Okay, now, Paul, do you have Google Classroom on your phone? Can you upload it directly from your phone? Into Google Classroom? Oh, okay. Oh, your phone's broken. Oh, so now you're having trouble doing it. Um, maybe wait till your mom gets home. Wait till your mom gets home and then you can put Google Classroom on her phone. I think that's your best bet. Because um, I know Zyla takes pictures with her computer and it's really hard to read. And I think Brandon too, it makes it difficult to see it. It's very hard. So I would say wait until you have your mom's phone. That's the best way. Okay, so these are your five problems. Yeah, Paul, you can wait to do anything that we're doing today. Um, I know uh, Jabriel waits, usually. He, he does half and half. He does half with his mom's phone later, and then he does half, uh, maybe, some of the screenshots on his computer. So, um, oh, what, th what homework is this, Thelma? I'm not sure. So, Paul, um, definitely. Definitely, you can wait. Okay, you can wait. Okay. And then I'm going to check a here. Can you guys all type here so I could see who's there and who's not there? And I'm, I'm finding out, uh, uh, Thelma, what homework it is. 
So 56. Hey, Brandon, can you type here, even though I know you're in and out? Emily, are you here? Because you didn't type here. So Brandon and Emily, can you guys type in here? Hey, Brandon, can you type in here? No, poor Brandon. He's going in and out. Must be frustrated. I think, Brandon, I have his cell phone number. Maybe I'll type him a message. Brandon Liang, I do. Okay, I'm going to stop the video, and then I can make the video for him so he could see it. 